What is up, Teachers on Fire? Today, I want to show you how to copy and paste an element within your digital photographs, and you can copy and paste it as many times as you like using a very simple but effective tool inside the web's best free cloud-based photo editor. That's right, we're talking about Pixlr.com. So that's our first step today. Let's head to Pixlr.com. Once we're there, we're going to select the advanced photo editor. We want all the bells and whistles, don't we? Yes, we do. We're going to start by opening an image and we are going to open a picture of four adorable kittens. Who doesn't like to work with kittens? Plus, we want to make a copycat. That's right, sorry about the dad joke. Okay, so to do this quickly and effectively, we're going to use a tool over here called the lasso tool. The lasso tool and you'll notice if you go up here you've got some choices for the lasso tool and i'm going to select the magnetic lasso and the reason i'm selecting the magnetic is i don't want to keep on clicking whoops let me just get that zoom right i don't want to keep on clicking around the image i just want to be able to click once and then sort of loop my way around there we go and then click again when i'm at the end of the loop at the end of the cutout so here's my first click I think I've got this set up correctly, yes. And you can see right away, I'm not holding my finger down on the button. Whoops, that wasn't so good, but that's okay. This doesn't need to be perfect. That's actually part of the demo, part of my point here today is to show you how quickly and effectively this can be done without trying to do it perfectly. So I'm making my way around the bottom corner of the kitten. Here we go along the bottom, around its other foot. And again, I am not holding my finger down on any kind of a mouse button. There's no stress involved there. I'm just sort of dragging and the magnetic part of this is using some AI to sort of guess where I want to go. Once I complete the loop, I'm going to single click and notice those lines start flashing. And that means that we can copy using control C and control V paste. All right, so notice something else over here. Pixlr created another layer for this image. And I'm going to give this layer a name. Now, that's not really necessary when you're only dealing with two layers, but if you're dealing with multiple layers, it might be very important, might be very helpful. You are controlling and editing the layer that is selected. So I'm back to the copycat. I'm going to select the arrow tool. And now you can see I can move this kitten around the drawing around the photograph wherever I please. Now, if you're thinking about making a copy, you don't wanna put the two copied things side by side directly, particularly if they are animals or human creatures. You know, that's a little too obvious. You don't want to make it quite so obvious. So to hide the fact that this is a copy, I'm going to move it to the other side of the photo. And let's see if I can zoom out just a little bit here. Sorry, the trackpad is a little, little touchy with the zooming. So I'm going to lower the size just a little bit. So now it's not exactly the same size as the original and I'm going to flip it horizontally. All right, so oh, I flipped it too many times. Flipped it horizontally, maybe lower that size just a little bit. Now, if you look closely, you can see it's actually not a perfect copy and paste, but that's okay. That's pretty good given that I only took about 30, 40 seconds to trace that image. And there we go, let me zoom out just carefully. Like I said, this is touchy on my MacBook trackpad without my mouse, but that's okay. You might be working on a Chromebook or some other kind of device that doesn't have a mouse either. I'm going to save as a PNG. You've got lots of options though. You can save it as a JPG if you prefer. And I will call this Copycat 5, Copycat 5. So just make sure you give it a thoughtful name that is going to work for you. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I just copied a kitten within a photo and at first glance, you can't even tell. If I did want to get a little more, uh, if I wanted to do a better job with the editing, I could simply select the copycat layer, zoom in here and just use the eraser tool to cut away some of this white. But as I said, for now, that's not a bad copy in the time that I used to make it. That's pretty quick and easy. If this video was helpful for you, would you pound that like button? Leave a comment below letting me know what you are doing in the photo editing space and subscribe to the channel. That's the single best thing that you can do to support my work and encourage me to keep going. Hey, teachers, in these difficult times, make sure you take care, share an encouraging message to lift up a colleague and keep that fire for learning 
burning bright. See you next time.